I don't wanna replace my roof. It's just gonna hail again in a few years. Have you heard this one? Yeah, my guess is if you live in an area like Texas that gets hit repeatedly by hail, especially with higher deductibles, you'll hear, hear homeowners say this all the time. And in fact, this video was inspired by Marty, thank you Marty, who commented on a YouTube video and said, Adam, how do I, how do I get past this? If it's just gonna hail again later, why would I do something now? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you a few punchy points to communicate the facts to a homeowner to help encourage them to take action today. Our job in sales for the ethical salesperson is to lay out all the information and to act as a guide to help that homeowner make the best decision for them. We cannot force decisions, no one can. If you could, you'd be worth billions and billions of dollars and the world would be all yours. So we can't force a decision. What we can do is provide the right information and help people make that best decision. And that is what we'll be covering today. Now, before we get started, welcome or welcome back. Adam Benzman here, The Roof Strategist, and everything that I do is designed to help you and your team smash your income goal and give every customer an amazing experience. So if you like this video and you want more sales training, sales strategies and sales tactics, maybe even some conversations about what it's like to be in roofing sales and how to maintain the right mindset to perform at a high level and earn a high income, then I invite you to join me right now inside my free training center. There's a link in the description and there's absolutely no catch. I've got training for the new person all the way up to an owner or manager, so hop in there right now using the link below. Now, let's get started. How do we get past this? First, what you want to do is that uh, a homeowner who sees a logo, all of our logos say the same thing. Mine's in light stitching, so it might be hard to see, but it says the roof strategist. By the way, this is a swag error. I won't be ordering these again. They all say the same thing. I sell roofs. So the homeowner is greeting you and they don't want to take action on their, their roof today, and you're the person that makes money selling roofs. So if you just start to like try to use a rebuttal, which is a combative way of overcoming this objection, the homeowner is going to be like a cornered cat you know, and they're gonna fight back and say, you know, you're not gonna force my decision. It's gonna hail again. You know it, I know it. Don't yank on my leg. I, I, I'm not doing anything. So instead what we wanna do is acknowledge them the fact that yes, it probably will hail again. The problem is we don't know where, we don't know when, and we don't know how bad it will be. And I think we all can agree that that's the truth. Like in Colorado, we had a three-year drought. There's hailstorms that report really big hail, but it was soft or didn't hail for very long, so there's not enough, there's not damage for us to, to work. Now, that's step one, is acknowledging the reality before we go any further. So it's easier to tango with someone via rebuttal when we agree with them. Now we're gonna lay out the information and I'm gonna share a lot of different angles of attack for you here and I'm gonna let you grab the right tool for the job. So again, you're not gonna use a hammer for a screw. So take all this information to heart and then you can pick which information you're gonna pair to overcome that objection with the customer in the situation that they're facing. We'll start right here at the top. First is the reality that insurance companies are changing their policies left and right, and it is spreading like wildfire. This explanation is gonna create more urgency for a homeowner to take action now for a fear of things being more expensive in the future. By the way, this is legitimate fear. We're not manipulating or making things up. The fact is, Mr. Homeowner, should you wait to do your roof, and I agree with you that it very well could hail again. We don't know when, maybe it's next year, maybe it's in five years, maybe it's in 10 years. But the reality is, is that insurance companies' policies are changing, and here's how. One, and you'll notice this in Florida a lot as well, at a certain time or age of a roof, carriers are dropping homeowners saying, we will only renew you if you get a new roof. So if you don't take action today, and then the carrier decides, oh, you know what, by the way, at 10 years, we're no longer insuring you unless you buy a new roof, you have to go out of pocket to buy a new roof. So if you don't do anything, you might not get insured, then you have to buy a new roof out of pocket. That is reality number one. Reality number two, in today's economy with rate increases of five to 12% per quarter, that's coming at about four to five rate increases a year. The price of roofing is going up nearly two times every five years. So a $20,000 roof today is a $40,000 roof in five years. So if this homeowner who just got hit with hail and says, I don't want to do anything about this, it's going to hail in five years, decides to wait five years, gets a letter from their insurance company saying we're dropping you unless you get your roof replaced and it's new now you're coming out of pocket not with 20 grand but forty thousand dollars that is a reality okay reality number two insurance company policies are changing when it comes to hail or wind they are getting eaten alive and we're seeing trends of acv policies percentage of home value or special deductibles for hail or wind and in fact i just heard 
And this was rumbling, so I don't have a way to fact check this, so please just take this with a grain of salt, that carriers are working on a different way to write uh, an, an exclusion for hail or wind claims, basically to roof damage, that's a percentage of home value that's calculated such that the they're basically saying the roof's no longer insured. So they're gonna try to figure out a percentage of home value that will basically be, if there's a hail, wind, or hurricane event, the roof is was basically the deductible, meaning the roof is no longer insured. So if the homeowner who has an opportunity to get this done today waits, and then their, their, their policy lane doesn't get renewed, their existing policy, they say, hey, well, with our new policy, you have a percentage of home value, meaning your roof's not insured. So now, yeah, you had a $5,000 deductible that was really big, but in five years, you're paying out of pocket and the price of that roof will double, and now it's $40,000 to get your roof done. So do you want a roof today, which could help you, by the way, if they do switch to this policy that after 10 years your you need to replace your roof well now your roof is meets those requirements because they just did it or if you don't do anything and then it gets damaged you're paying essentially retail prices out of the gate and if homeowners knew this information of these trends that are happening which we're all seeing and experiencing and you can share your own stories of being in the field then homeowners are far more likely for fear of really big future loss gonna do something today. But what we wanna do is communicate this in a real world, relatable experience for them where they know, you know what, you've seen this, I've talked to these people, I've served this customer, I've had this happen, and I want you to go through your book of business or work with your company to hear those stories because I know that our company had them. We had ACV policies, we had a policy written that in fine print, after 10 years, roof goes to ACV. We've had carriers drop homeowners unless they replace their roof. And I've witnessed in my own home getting special deductibles for hail or wind that basically make it such that I will be paying out of pocket for a roof. And when, again, when we share this, we create real urgency for a homeowner to make that decision. So there's just a few different ways to overcome that objection of, I just wanna wait till it hails again to do my roof. And I know that there's more, but I wanted to stay focused on this core idea of urgency. And I'll hear from you in the comment section below what you use to overcome this objection. Thanks for joining me in today's video. That's all I got for you now, but just because our time here is about to wrap up, doesn't mean you're in my time has to. So if you wanna learn how to overcome even more objections, jump into my free training center right here or hang with me here on YouTube. And I think you're really gonna like this video and I'll see you in the next one.